Uh, go up to autoplay, uh, go over, and then up and hit play. So autoplay, and then play at the top. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> She's slippery. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, everybody. Thank you guys for coming out, um, and thank you for your time. This is my capstone presentation. Um, I'm named the roller coaster because, like everybody knows, life kind of throws you up, down, any way it can. Um, and I'm focusing on the process. So, my name is Chris Maloszewski. Uh, I was born and raised in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Um, and from a very young age, I was a super energetic kid, loved the outdoors. Um, whether it was playing with friends, playing sports, I was always doing something outside. And like any smart parent would do, they threw me into a sport. Uh, my sport was soccer. I started at the age of three and I loved it and I never turned back since. Um, I fell in love quickly with it and I spent most of my time with it. Uh, I found all my, a lot of friends and memories that I still cherish to this day with it. Uh, like I said, I'm just, I was super interested in, in the sport of soccer, um, and I thought this was my calling. Easy point A to point B, right? Everybody thinks that, naive kid, right? Um, so that was my path, easy as that. Then uh, college interest started coming around. Uh, early in high school is started when everything kind of took off for me. Uh, I committed to my dream school, I played at Clemson, um, and that was kind of fueling this professional dream that I had from a kid. Um, I felt like I was on cloud nine. Um, I was starting as a freshman, and life couldn't get better. And then actually life happened. Uh, my freshman year, I had a non-contact injury, blew out my knee. Um, and this was the first time in my life that I felt like I didn't have an identity, because uh, I was on the sideline for 18 months. Uh, so while I was at Clemson, I was studying public health with a concentration in pre-professional studies. And I love science, uh, but I had no direction with it. Um, so during my injury, I actually really connected with my physical therapist. And uh, I, thought I, I thought about his career path, and I really enjoyed what he did for a living. I enjoyed it so much that he actually became my mentor, and I still talk to him to this day. Uh, I decided it was a professional path that I wanted to do, um, so I started shadowing with him and interning in my free time, and after one of the biggest challenges in my life, I decided I wanted to do more than just soccer. Then another speed bump, everybody's favorite, COVID, right? <laughs> uh, so COVID was a really hard time for me. I started falling out of love with soccer, and I started having second thoughts about going to PT school. Uh, 2020 and 2021 was just tough. Um, I felt like I had no direction in life. Um, my mental health kind of took a dip. Um, and this was the first time I was seeing like everywhere that it was okay to not be okay mentally. Uh, so I took a semester off soccer, uh, my final semester, and I decided just to finish school. Uh, so during that time, it allowed me to take a step back from everything. I left the bubble uh, for athletics at Clemson, and I got to talk to friends and family more. Um, but I just, like, I came, a conclusion came from that, and I decided I want to go back to school and not give up on soccer yet. So I committed to CSC, but I didn't know what I wanted to study until an athletic director told me about the MPA program. So I started my MPA journey, and I kind of fell out of place, like a sore thumb. Um, my background in science, I kind of felt out of, out of uh, lack with the curriculums and kind of out of place, in a sense. That was until the internship process. Uh, it, was, it was a struggle. <laughs> uh, I really want to make you pull my hair out trying to find one, but I finally found one with the CEO of the Somerville Medical Center uh, with Healthcare Administration. I, learned a, I got to learn a lot with him, uh, effective operation approach, uh, problem solving, attention to detail, while uh, the, like having this revolve around a pa patient-centered approach. Uh, I learned effective, uh, effective communication in fast-paced environments while working on many projects. It was great. Um, so I kind of got these ideas and I started connecting curriculums uh, with real life situations during my internship, which I love. Um, and I really enjoyed what healthcare administration was about. So I started learning all these things uh, one of the main things that kind of stuck with me was how to be an inclusive leader. Um, in a hospital, there's so many moving parts to it. Um, you have to consider a wide range of perspectives, ideas, and experiences. And I really learned that diversity enhances problem solving and decision making techniques. Another huge thing uh, was uh, communication in a hospital. With so many different teams and so many different people in a hospital, uh, the administration needs to engage with them and then engage with the public to understand what it needs. Uh, it helped to make informed decisions that reflected what the community need. Um, and the, one, of the one of the last things I learned was critical thinking. Every day there was group discussions and decision makings, uh, meetings with stakeholders in the community uh, to figure out what was happening and what we needed to fix uh, these complex issues. So all that has led me to this. Uh, I found my calling in healthcare administration and next year I plan to get my, health, uh, my master's in health administration. Uh, my first day on the internship, my boss told me that this, this career is to help people that help others. And that's something that stuck with me to this day. 
Um, so while I'm wrapping up with it, I decided, I decided that everybody's goals are defined by their process and everybody's process is gonna be different. Uh, sometimes it's simple and sometimes you need resilience and you need to reshape your process. If I was looking back at a younger, younger version of myself, I would, tell, I would tell them to always think in the present and control, control what you can control because if you think too far ahead, then you lose sight of what you want to do. Um, I just want to thank everybody in this MTA program for being a part of my journey and helping me through it. Thank you.